Well, what do you think? Good replacement for the GF900? Alright, so the first part of this video, we are just after picking up the tractor and sprayer this morning from McGee Farm Machinery. Uh, the sprayer was up, back up, that's where we purchased the sprayer. Uh, the sprayer was back up just for a system update or a software update that needed to be done on it. Uh, we got a phone call earlier in the week to see if we were able to leave the sprayer up. That uh, There was a, a man from Amazon coming down that was going to update a certain number of few sprayers uh, that needed to have this update done on it and Ayers was one of them so we left it up and uh, they got it all sorted it was only some little issue with I think some of the the, the nozzles weren't switching off a uh, hundred percent or closing straight away and it was causing a little bit of a drip or a dribble at times uh, I had noticed a couple of them doing that maybe but it, I didn't really think that much of it. I thought it was more just that was more just one of these things where the valve would close off or the nozzle would close and there was just a bit of a residue of stuff there that was running out. So uh, it's only minor enough and uh, yeah, great, good to get it all sorted. Uh, but yeah, nice row of uh, corn harvesters there too. I just took a little quick shot of them while I was turning in the yard. Uh, but yeah, good day. Uh, Good backup from, from both McGee and uh, Amazon to, to, to do that recall and uh, to get it all sorted out. So that's very much appreciated. Uh, just heading home now, I'm almost, I'll be home now in a few minutes. Uh, we're going to uh, hook off the sprayer and trailer's going on. And we're going to start drawing some of this barley back home uh, and have it at home for, for busting the grain tomorrow. So that's what's up next. up to collect the barley uh, two tractors going up uh, I'm in the 215 with the with the split trailer behind and dad has the 6930 and the 10 and a half ton trailer uh, with the side to side ton so I should be able to take in around 19 ton I think or it's loaded well of a 19 ton of barley it depends on the moisture of it too but roughly around 19 ton uh, and Dad should be able to take about 15 ton, I think. So we should have 34, 33, 34 ton home on us on this first run, and then uh, the second run. Then we'll tip one trailer and come back then and do a second run. So we'll have a good shot of it, a uh, good shot of it home now in this one run with each with each tractor. Uh, so yeah, we will get to the yard. We're nearly there, and. Uh, yeah, get them loaded up and maybe see if I can get a wee bit of footage of uh, the teleporter loading up.
All right, so we're nearly home. Uh, we have a bit less weight-wise than what I had anticipated. Uh, the trailer here can usually take, or it did take in the summertime, uh, roughly around 18, 19 ton on uh, on a full load, but that was being filled right up, heaped up in the middle, tapped down, sides all filled in, level out with a shovel. So uh, I think there's 16 ton in it, and the one in front can take around 15, 16 ton when full. I think there's 14 ton in it. So we still have still have 30 ton homeless on the in the two. Uh, in the two trailers and uh, in any case we had to go up again because uh, we weren't going to get it all in two loads anyway so I suppose it makes no difference whether we take we had to take another 10 load and 10 ton in this trailer on the second run or fill it and uh, take another 15 16 ton it, it doesn't make any difference so uh, yeah we go back to the yard we back to the yard down but we're almost I'm uh, almost back in the yard. Uh, we're gonna maybe put the drone up. I think we have the drone footage just of tipping the trailer. I haven't flown the drone very much since November. Uh, I had it up yesterday for a few minutes, taking a wee bit of footage of the bath back filling of the wall. So uh, and the job that was done on it. So it's uh, a bit of an excuse just to, to get it up and have a little bit of a play around with it. So yeah, pulling in the end of the lane, and uh, when we're tipping the load. We will get the, the drone up and get a bit of footage. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust
we're busting grain. You've seen a bit of footage there just of loading uh, in the yard and then pushing up the, the busted grain in the shed. Uh, similar to some of the other years or some of the other footage I've took in previous times. Uh, the only difference is we have the, the auger in the mill is dropping it in here into the shed, which is very handy. And uh, it just means that I just have to move it over into this pile as we're doing it. Uh, so a good bit of stuff still to bus. We're probably close to, we're about a third of the way through it. So this year pile will get a bit higher and come out a bit further than what it is. And we'll try and squeeze it all in there. There'll be a good pile of stuff here when it's all done. Uh, but yeah, making good progress. Uh, just as per normal, uh, it's Richard Lynch that's doing the, the bit of busting for us. He has a Wakeley mill and uh, the tractor is a tight tractor. So.
So that's what you want to see. A whole empty area and the job done. Uh, so 45 ton exactly is what it was. And there it all is there. There was a little bit here. I just moved it down. There was a few ton left over that was in the corner. I moved it right down. So yeah, nice pile of stuff there. I had to pile it up quite high because I have a maize meal. I put 15 ton of maize meal in at the back there. I just want to, uh, only if I can get access to that obviously. But yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, there's about, so there's about 20, 20, 25 ton. I'd say, maybe probably slightly more than that even, of wheat, the other side of the wall still. So we're still okay for wheat. Uh, what we'll do is, we're going to adjust the ration a bit more. Now that we have all this barley, we'll be able to use a bit more barley than wheat. And we're going to be using a bit more maize meal than both of them, if that makes sense. So, uh, yeah, good to have that done. It was a great day for the job. The only problem was, the sun was in your eyes uh, when you were filling it. So it left a little bit tricky just to see uh, filling into the into the hopper. But other than that, no issues at all. Job done, all completed, and uh, even all tidied up. A uh, bit, bit of dust around the place, but uh, overall, not too bad. Great to have it done. So, it's another job done and dusted and out of the way. Uh, so, yeah, that's that done. Uh, next job on the cards is going to be getting the shed ready for the cows and calves, as I mentioned in the video there a few days ago. Uh, so we're going to be doing that early next week. So we're going to be tidy. I don't know whether I'm going to wash it or blow it out. I haven't just decided yet. I might just blow I did wash it earlier in the year, so I might just blow it out, disinfect it, and then do the walls. Uh, because we don't want to wet the walls down too much, or the whitewash won't stick to them. Uh, it'll take a good bit of drying if you wet it all down this time of the year. So... I'll see, I'll decide over the next couple of days. But uh, yeah, that's the next video you'll see. We'll be getting ready for cows calving. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, hit the sub button, leave a like in the video, comment down below if you have any comments. See you in the next video.